Good day, welcome to the channel, and welcome to part two of our explanation of how to deploy and then remove software using group policy. Now, this is part two. This is the uninstall portion. We've already done the install. The install is handled, in our case, through this GPO, this group policy, which simply deployed Notepad++. Pretty straightforward. There it is. Now, how do we get rid of it? Well, there are three ways to uninstall Notepad++ now that it's been deployed through group policy. The first is you simply right click on it and select all tasks, remove. And that will not only remove, uninstall the software from our client machine here on the right, but it will also prevent it from reinstalling through group policy in the future. So let's show you that. I'll click remove and we have a choice. Immediately uninstall it or do we want it to stay on the computers but we don't want to have any new installations. No, I want to remove it. So I'm going to click OK. Gonzo. And let's go over to our client computer. And we can wait a while for this GPO to hit this uh, machine. But it's going to require restart because it's a computer policy, not a user policy. So let's click Restart. And we're back. So let's take a look. Let's click Start. And type in Notepad. And it's not there. Now, keep in mind that I actually did take, oh, several minutes here, and I actually rebooted twice, once to have it grab the policy, once to have it apply the policy. I'm not positive that that second reboot was required, but I didn't want to waste the time. So, but we can see here that it is in fact gone. Okay, the second way to uninstall Notepad++ or any other piece of software that's been deployed through group policy is to remove policy from the computer group, the OU, the organizational unit, in question. So let's take a look here and we'll go through it. Now, to show you this, I obviously have to redeploy Notepad++. So I'm going to skip through this very fast. I'll just speed it up. And this time I'm going to check that box that says uninstall this application when it falls out of scope. Now, as I said in the previous video explaining how to do these deployments, this checkbox can be added at any time. So if you've already got something deployed and you did not check this checkbox, don't sweat it. All you have to do is go into the policy, Turn that checkbox on like I just did. Click OK. Wait for the policy to be applied to all of the computers in question, or users as it may be. Okay, to make this work, let's uh, reboot the computer again. Get that policy to take hold and to have it install Notepad++. And we're back, and you can see that my test machine on the right already has Notepad++ installed. And so let's continue with the second way to uninstall the software. And that was to go into the GPO and make sure that this uninstall, this application when it falls out of scope of management is checked. And it is, so I just click cancel there. Now let's get this out of scope. And how do you do that? Well, it's not very challenging. Go into your group policy management and say, yeah, you know, I don't want that policy to apply to these computers anymore. Uh, so I'm just gonna right click on it, delete. And of course that's not going to delete the GPO. It's only going to delete the link that's uh, tied to this computer. The GPO still exists, so there it is. But it's not tied to anything now. You have to wait again for the GPO to be updated on the client computer, which in my case, I'm just going to right click and uh, shut down and restart. Okay, again, I've rebooted twice, once to have it grab the policy and the second time to have that policy take effect. I'm not positive the second reboot was required. I think if I just waited, it would have gone through, but wanted to save the time. So let's go take a look and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be there. It is not. Notepad is gone. Notepad++ is gone. Okay, so that is the second way you can uninstall software through group policy. Both of the first two ways relied on you installing the software originally using group policy. The third way doesn't care. We're just gonna do a simple script. Now, just before we get onto that simple script, there is another dodge around this, which is if you've deployed some software using some other method, you could redeploy it through group policy and then uninstall it using these two methods that we just showed, but that's a little more complex. Okay, let's just get back to the script. What you would do is find the OU, the organizational unit you want to apply this to, which could be the entire domain, but let's assume it's just this office computers group again, and you would right click on it and select create a new GPO and link it. Let's call this uninstall Notepad, let's click OK, then right click on it and select Edit, go into Policies, Window Settings, Script, Startup and Shutdown. Uh, we could do a shutdown script. Let's do a startup script. We'll do Add, Script Name will be 
uninstall, notepad, browse. And here you need to make sure that this is somewhere on the network that everybody can get to. Now, in my case, it remembered my old network share, which was slash slash the DCA, which is the name of the server here and a distribution folder. Sure, I'm gonna put it there, that's fine. So I'm just gonna right click here and select new text document. And I'm gonna call this uninstall notepad. And I'm gonna rename it to BAT. Now this game could be a PowerShell, could be whatever else. I'm going to use batch file. And right click on that, select edit. It says, hey, we're not really sure who did this. Yeah, that's fine. There. That is the uninstall in the command for Notepad++. In your case, there may be something else. So you put in whatever the script is to uninstall the software, and close it and save, and then select that one, which it already will be, select open. If you have any parameters uh, to pass through to it, do that. Click OK, and the next time you start up, it will uninstall. Now again, different commands for different things. Now, for instance, here's the command that's required to uninstall Silence. So it's MSI exec, which just calls the Microsoft installer. X means uninstall, the specific WID of Silence Protect, and then slash quiet at the end. That's it. Hey, if you like this video, we'd really appreciate a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe's also always appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns, two things. One, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.ur.com. T E C H dot C A. That's your tech dot C A. Alternately, you can always put a comment below, and if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Thanks. We hope this helped you, and uh, have a great day. Bye bye.